Crafty Carl here on another rainy Sunday morning. I was hoping to take the Firebird out this weekend, but I didn't get a chance. Didn't get a chance to really work on the truck either. Started doing some other projects around the house. And uh, this is the kind of weather we've been having for the last little bit. Lots of rain and wind and not so much sun, sun, sunshine and dry weather. So, instead of having a day with the real scale stuff, let's go check out what's going on with the uh, scale model stuff. Okay, I'm back here at the model bench and what we have in front of the camera is something very exciting to me. I have teamed up with my older brother in a collaborative effort to start producing scale model truck parts um, for semi trucks, obviously. And the three headache racks that you see uh, in on the bench here, um, this is the these are the prototypes of what we are starting to produce. Um, with uh, our the launch of <clears throat> excuse me the launch of our new company uh, which is called 3d concepts now this is something where I've I've looked and tried to find um, certain aftermarket scale model products uh, parts I should say and um, specifically for semi trucks and so what we've got here is, like I said, the three prototypes of headache racks that we are going to have in production very, very soon. Uh, they are pretty much ready. The scale, the dimensions, the uh, craftsmanship, the finish, everything. Um, we've been working at this a long time. My brother's been putting in a lot of effort. Uh, he runs the production platform with the 3D printing in two different types, uh, the filament and the resin. Uh, we're getting very serious about this, uh, accuracy, accuracy and uh, eye for detail comes from me, Crafty Carl, as I am the model builder. Um, and I relay that information through uh, pictures of real truck equipment, such as these racks and other stuff that we've got coming uh, down the line, um, which I think most scale modelers out there who want to uh, enhance their, their builds with uh, aftermarket parts, stuff that uh, the kit manufacturers are giving us in the kits. Um, this, this is just, to me, this is incredible. And we have decided that the number one um, point to all of this is that we are guaranteeing the accuracy in not only dimension but style and uh, the product finish itself. So let's take a look at this stuff individually. Um, I'm going to get into the specifics of where you can go to get more accurate information on how to order things, how to look at what's available, what's what's coming available in the next uh, short amount of time here. And right now, let's just start to go over the three racks in particular that I have in front of the camera. So I'm gonna take this one out of the way for now. I'm gonna move this guy out of here and let's concentrate on this. Now this, this here, this is, uh, I don't know the product number, but like I said, I'm going to give a bunch more information here right away, so bear with me. This is what we call the five door with oil can. As you can see, this rack is, it's gorgeous. Like, it's gorgeous. The, the doors, the, the handles, everything, the light bar, and the other thing about this is it's just not molded together as one. This comes apart, right? So this, like I said, this is the prototype we're looking at here. And what there is, is there's the five doors. The five doors come off. And the rack itself, this is where you can get into paint detail. You could find a way to hinge these doors. We're not going to offer anything like that. 
uh, maybe down the road, but I don't, I don't think so for now. And then the oil can itself. So when you get this rack, right, and you can see that this is designed after real equipment. Like we're not just winging it here. We are going out, taking pictures of trucks. We're looking at manufacturer websites that build this stuff in real life. And we are taking dimensions and designs and we are, we're putting this stuff together. And I'm telling you, like this being the prototype, when you, if you decide to, hey, you wanna give this stuff a try, um, like look at the fit on that. That's interference fit. And I mean, you can glue it, you can do whatever you want. Uh, this light bar here, we've decided that, you know, the lights are molded in there. You could paint detail that. You could get some uh, bare metal foil going around the, the bezels and stuff. I'm actually going to build this stuff out and utilize it on a uh, full-size truck, like, or not a full-size truck, but a scale model truck, I should say. And um, it's just incredible. I'm very excited about it. So I, I do apologize. Like I said, you got to be patient with us. <coughs> Excuse me. The, um, the product number for this one, there's product numbers for everything. And um, I'm going to get into that here at the end of the video. So you can, I'm going to direct you where you can go to get all the information. And uh, I think everybody's going to be very pleased with this. So anyway, this is a, the signature rack for right now. This is what we call the, the five door with the oil can. Uh, which I think would be more of a hydraulic tank. Um, okay, so here's another one we've got. This is our three door. And you can see the the modern lighting set up there. And inside, you know, the detail on that is it's very crisp. It, it's not separate. So they would need to paint detail and whatnot. And like I said, these are prototypes. So as we get more and more into the production end of things um, and, and my brother starts to uh, tweak production and stuff, we might be able to offer different options down the road. But again, these doors come off and they are interference fit. And it wouldn't take much for a, um, even in just, you know, uh, 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 an experienced model builder to figure out a way to hinge these and you could open them, you could have your chains inside there. Uh, other equipment and whatnot. So this is another rack we're offering, which is our 3D or our three door. And then finally here for right now, we have this three door um, and you can see the style is different. And it's also got, uh, it's got the grab bar. So it's got the grab bar on the top. It's got the grab bars on the side. It comes with the little perches there. Um, and then it also has the removable doors also. And you can see it's got some hinge detail on there and it's got the, uh, the slam locks and the cabinet itself is, uh, like I said, all this stuff is, is, is the correct dimensions. This is right off the manufacturers. You scale it down to 124 or 125. I mean, you can't go wrong just by doing the math, right? Now, the one thing I did want to say about, uh, which one is it here? Okay, so let's look at this three door. I missed something that's important here and I'm going to try and get it on the camera. Now, kind of see right in there, look in here and you can see that there's that diamond shape, right? There, There's there's a prominent, you can see where it's, it's uh, coming out of the door. That is modeled after a real door that has that that design to it and the way my brother got this to there's a really good picture of it where you can see the x right there um it, it my brother just did an incredible job of getting the the accuracy of this right and um when you when you paint that out uh you 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 would definitely see those details and it's the same on these other these these other doors there there it is right you can see the x right in there those look really good and it's even got the light system around the corner there um just incredible i'm i'm so excited about this stuff now let me show you something else here and it's it's uh you know maybe going to get people a little bit excited i know it gets me excited is so here's another signature five door 
and but look at the difference so that's printed in in a in a different material and that silver sheen there looks to me it's just outstanding now also this this five door um it's it's got the gray rack itself and then the doors have the the silver uh color to them which is just awesome and then the light bar as well so and and like i said this these this was actually i think the first one um this other one here was was the uh the next prototype and like i said my brother's got this figured right out with the um with with the uh accuracy uh in getting into the production there so the other thing i want to touch on briefly okay i'm very excited about this too is that <clears throat> now this is a prototype but take a look at this now i i've struggled to find a very realistic looking Donaldson or Vortec style air cleaner. And this is printed in filament, but look at the detail in this and, and the size, like, and, and what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, build some of this stuff out obviously and add it to my models. And I'm very excited to do that. Um, but you know me, it takes me a while to get a model done. We're still working on the K100. We're getting her together here. But um, so we've got air cleaners coming that are going to be, I'm telling you, I'm putting my name behind this, Crafty Carl approved. These are going to be some of the best Donaldson air cleaners that you're ever going to see for a model. Now, the other thing that we've got coming here is we're going to start getting into these toolboxes as well. Toolboxes with a step and they're coming in different sizes and here's one printed in that kind of silver you can see the difference there in the in the sheen and then of course it's got the check plate and stuff it's going to have the removable door um just super cool stuff here so as time goes on here um we're going to have more products coming out we we don't want to release too many details but we're very excited to um, start uh, the design and uh, production process on uh, these items for sure. And then lots more coming down the pipe. So let's get into how, okay, Crafty Carl, how do I get more information on this stuff? Well, here we go. So here is the information sheet. And I'm just going to be brief on this. So... There's the ordering process, which you can read here. Because this is a, a production, um, we run production runs on, on certain parts and stuff. When you make your order, we start producing it then. We, we're going to have an inventory of some stuff at some point. So um, this might change down the road where if it's available in inventory, you may get it sooner. But if you don't mind waiting, like it's looking at like maybe two weeks at the most and then it gets shipped out to you, um, you're going to receive your parts. Um, here's the biggest thing that I can tell you right now is that this is where you want to go. Right here where my, my big thumb is sitting there. This is 3D concepts at yahoo.com. So placing orders shipping product information return policy and the closing words here i'm not going to read this entire form but you can you will find all this if you just go to the website 3d concepts at yahoo.com you can request pictures there's an order form that i don't have in front of me right now it shows uh pictures of the products the racks and it has the part numbers beside them and it also shows real dimensions so if you want to make sure that this is going to work for you then the real dimensions measured off of veneer caliper are going to be posted with that actual part the air cleaners down the road the toolboxes right now the headache racks for sure <clears throat> excuse me and um all that information is going to be in there and plus, you can also ask 
any other question you want in, in regards to the material that we're using, um, what, you know, anything that you have questions on, you just ask. But I'm putting my name behind this stuff because I'm a very fussy model builder. That's why it takes me a long time to get a truck built. And now that with this aftermarket stuff here that we've got going on and whatnot, and with my brother behind the uh, production end of things here, uh, this is incredible, you know. And, and this 3D processing, um, this 3D printing, I should say, um, you know, it's not a cheap endeavor. Um, you know, my brother's invested, um, uh, uh, he's made a, a significant investment to make sure that we're not just pumping out any kind of old parts here. We're pumping out accurate stuff. And we want, we want people to be pleased out there. We want people to be happy. We want people to tell them where they got it. And, um, you know, uh, like I said, I'm very excited about it. The other thing I wanted to mention too, is we've done a lot of research on 3D stuff. And um, yeah, there's uh, uh, millions of printers out there. There's lots of people doing stuff and whatnot. Um, but like I said, my, my, my brother and I, he's the production manager. I'm the, uh, I'm the, I'm the creative side of things and, and designer. So that's where my say comes in as to how accurate things look, what, what is appealing to people, what people are going to want to pick up down the road. So that's kind of long winded. Um, I just, like I said, I want to get as much information out there. I can't stress enough that if you just go to 3d concepts at yahoo.com, I'll post a link in the video as well. Um, you go there and ask anything you want and soon enough we'll have a, um, uh, you just email them and, uh, we'll get you, uh, uh, order form and all the details, uh, as to the parts that are when they come available. Um, so that being said, I just want to say that everybody knows, um, <clears throat> everybody knows, I'm just going to move the camera here that there's the k100 we're getting closer so let's take a look at the old frack master w9 okay so i've been working on that truck for um pretty much 10 years i scratch built that rack um i might change things up completely now because the biggest thing i want to talk about as far as the parts go is that we will we will custom build stuff for you we will custom build whatever part you want to whatever scale you want so i want the rc 114 scale modelers to know what we're doing and also people liking the 116 scale stuff from monogram um hey that same rack or that rack or that rack or that toolbox, yeah, we can make it in 116 scale, 114 scale, doesn't matter. We will get the dimensions, scale it accurately, and we can print it off and, and put it into production. So that being said, I'm going to leave it at that for now. And as always, I appreciate everybody tuning in and uh, checking out the channel. Um, please, if you're interested in this stuff, just email the, uh, email the, um, the email address provided and get the information and tell your scale modeling community friends what's going on here. And I'm going to be back shortly here with an update on the, uh, build of the K100, um, Rocky Mountain double combination, which is coming along very nicely. So once again, Thanks for tuning in, and as always, keep on building those models.